What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. You guys know how that last kitchen table I built almost took me a year to make? Well this time, I'm gonna show you how to make a kitchen table in two days. This will be the easiest, most efficient kitchen table you can ever build in your entire life. I promise you. I started this table by taking two two by sixes and cutting them down to make up the legs. Like I said in the intro, this table is gonna be super approachable and easy to make. So these legs will likely be the most complicated thing about the table. After cutting them to size, I took them over to the table saw to cut off the rounded edges so I get four sharp sides. This is something that I do and you can do in your projects to hide the fact that the lumber is from a big box store. After cutting the edges, I take half of the stack and cut about an inch and a half off of them. That way whenever I glue them up, they're all symmetrical in width. I wanted the legs to have a unique tapered look to them instead of a boring straight line appearance. I don't have a tapering jig that I use frequently, so I just whipped one up really quick that I could use to make consistent tapered cuts. I guess I'm keeping with the trend of this video for the simplest table possible by making the simplest jig possible. So that's a win. In this shot you can really get an understanding of what this jig is all about. I really didn't do any measuring for it, I just lined up the stops where I thought they would take a good amount of material away, but still make for stable legs. You can see how simple it really is. What are you doing? Now that the legs are all cut, you can see them come together here and get a better understanding of why the specific cuts were made. I'm not using any hardware at all to fasten them, only glue and some extra strong pony clamps. I'm gonna go on record and say it right now. My daughter is the coolest kid in the world. She's already cleaning the shop. Good job, baby! The last step for all these legs to be ready to go is to flush up all the edges that will be touching either the ground or the tabletop. And I use my crosscut sled to get that done really easily. For the rest of the table base, I'll be using 2x4 material to tie everything together. The 2x4s will make up the apron that connects the legs and the supports that will run the width of the table to hold up the tabletop. I'll be using pocket holes to fasten all of the pieces together. This is kind of a tough job to do on a 4x4 workbench, so if you have a bigger shop than I do, you most likely won't look as awkward as I do trying to put this table together. And pocket holes can be tricky either way, so if you have an available extra set of hands, that would help. I grabbed a few small pieces of scrap 2x4 and cut some 45 degree angles in them so that I could run these as supports for the legs. It's just a really simple way to beef up the sturdiness of your table and make sure that it lasts a little longer than it would without. I made sure to take my time sanding the base of this table because I wanted to make sure and blend all of the lines where the boards met so that the legs would look like they were made from one solid piece of wood. Not being able to recognize that this table is made up of 2x6s is what really will set the table apart from others that did use dimensional lumber.
The top of this table is pretty unconventional from my perspective. I built a ton of tables and they've all been about two inches thick or more, but my client sent me a picture of a table she found on Pinterest that had one bias for the top, and that's exactly what she wanted for her table, so that's exactly what she got. I chose some really nice yellow pine boards for the top that had some really cool grain running through them. I had to dig around to find them, but once I did, I think the boards I chose are perfect for this application. I am the fastest man alive. If eight minutes worth of video of me building this table didn't satisfy your need for woodworking, feel free to find me on Instagram where I post daily. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly and greatly appreciate it. If you learned something from this build, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'd love to have you back for my next video. If you're interested in making this table for yourself, you can find plans for it at thereformationwoodshop.com. I'll have that link for you in the comment section down below. Thank you, I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.